2,500 years ago in northern India, Prince Siddhartha left his palace where he had never seen a sick, dead, or old person before. When he escaped his house and walked around, he saw all of a sick, dead, and old person and asked, what's this? He spent 29 years indulging in pleasures. He was determined to comprehend the nature of human suffering. After a grueling spiritual quest that lasted six years, he at last attained enlightenment meditating under a fig tree. He became the Buddha, the awakened one or the enlightened one, and devoted the rest of his life to teaching the way to enlightenment that he himself had found, giving birth to one of the greatest religions, Buddhism. The Buddha taught everyone how to live a happy, peaceful life. He never got angry and was always happy. Today, I don't think the Buddha would get very far because he was too nice, and I don't think anyone would take him seriously or listen to him. One pro of Buddhism is everyone is constantly meditating and happy and trying to reach enlightenment. One con is that people would easily overpower the Buddha because he was a very kind soul. I hate all these churches, so I'm going to build my own. Jim Jones was founder and leader of the People's Temple, best known for the November 18, 1978 mass suicide of 909 temple members in Jonestown, Gianna. The People's Temple! <laughs> Welcome to the People's Temple. The People's Temple was initially structured as an interracial mission for the sick, homeless, and jobless. A lot of people did not approve of Jim Jones's idea of the People's Temple. A swastika was placed on the temple, a stick of dynamite was left in a temple coal pile, and a dead cat was thrown at Jim Jones's house after a threatening phone call. Because this is the People's Temple, and the People's Temple does not care who comes here. As long as you will look up to me because I am your brother, I am your father. Jim Jones was a mastermind when it came to people trusting him and believing in him. Jim used a concept called Big Brother's Watching You, and he has speakers everywhere so you can always hear his voice. He also used self-inscrimination, distorting people's perception, mindless compliance, power of the crowd, and even fake suicide drills. Jim Jones acted very I sweet say. but was a very scary man I who was very paranoid and stern, which win. makes him really unique. Be happy. I will help you raise your children right. I will let you be with the people you want to be with. I will not tell you because you're black, because you're a ginger, because you have blonde hair or because you may have any syndromes. 
I will be there for you. No matter what it is, as long as you follow me, follow my word. Today, you all are going to sacrifice yourselves. You're going to come and drink this. So come and drink. Drink. Drink for me. Drink for me. You too. Drink. All of you. All of it. They're drinking. A pro to this is people listen to you because you act nice and you made them trust you. A con is that he was very strict and you could not leave Jonestown whatsoever. Now, because he drank this, this, there's no name for it, you're going to die because you're sacrificing yourself. Just kidding. This is our final sacrifice. Once again. One day, Jim Jones gave everyone cyanide poisoning. It was a laced grape flavored aid along with a sedative. You're going to drink all of it because you're honoring us and you're sacrificing yourselves. We didn't commit suicide. We committed an act of revolutionary suicide protesting the conditions of an inhumane world. You guys have 10 minutes to live. Revolutionary suicide. That's <laughs> it. When you're I like to move okay, it, move I'll it. Tell you what to you tell. like to no, move no, it, move no, it. No. We like to exactly. move it. I like to really move it, move it. We like to move it, move it. I like to move it. We like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. What was I going to say? Drink up. Keep drinking. 